if you can't handle the truth then shut this off right now the facts are being exposed and force fan had nothing to do with the fraud at the end of his treasure hunt 100 percent I'm going to show you the actual solve and the nine geographical clues, the facts that proves Forrest Fenn had nothing to do with the fraud that transpired when Forrest announced the find on June 6th, 2020. It's time the world knows the truth. The solve is the title to Forrest's book, The Thrill of the Chase. That's the title to the gold. If you're brave and in the wood, I give you title to the gold. Title to the gold was finding Superman 1.61 and superheroes every day. Thrill of the chase. Scene 1.61 in the Superman movie. Looking for Superman, you needed the confidence in a maverick. Maverick's wife's name was Lois Clark. Looking for Lois and Clark. Kent. Lois and Clark. Clark Kent, Superman, was just one small part of this brilliant solve that Forrest Fenn created. I finished solving Forrest's map in the poem July 2019, and the poem solved correctly led me precisely to this cross at Palisade Sill, New Mexico. July 2019, Forrest Fenn learned that his secret cross had been found. So in July 2019, Forrest Fenn knew his secret wear had been found by me from this group of pictures I mailed to him. What Forrest didn't know was the treasure chest was still there. Five reasons why I didn't dig it up yet. One, I had a shoulder injury, very difficult to dig. Two, I would have been breaking the law while being law enforcement myself. Three, I had no idea who Kent and Esther were. Four, I found under the cross what I believe to be another clue. Five, the secret was supposed to stay between Force Fen and the solver. So I did the legal thing and waited less than a year until I retired to go back and dig it up. Force knew the final resting place was found. He thought the treasure chest was gone, but Force didn't know for sure. So within three months after July, Force Fen trusted in just one person with this critically important information a liaison who snuck over to Palisade Sill in October 2019 to check and see if it was still there. This person Forrest trusted went to check on the treasure chest in October 2019. He digs down the four feet and finds the treasure chest. But this guy doesn't go back to Forrest Fenn and tell him the truth. He steals the treasure chest behind the solver and Grampy's back. So, in October 2019, Forrest Fenn received the biggest stab in the back and doesn't realize that the treasure chest was just taken by the one person he should have never trusted. Forrest Fenn was thinking, he's proud of me, but he's wondering, why is this guy not letting me know? So Forrest writes Dal an email in November 2019, letting Dal know that he's wondering why the guy who solved it won't contact him and it looks like this i want to read those emails i want to know when someone is getting close normally i don't answer those things but i look for that name i don't know why i want to know that because i'm not going to do anything i don't dare answer the email if i answer that might be a signal to him that he's close and if i don't answer it that's a routine thing you know I normally don't answer those things, but I look for that name, and I don't want to get an email from that guy and not read it. I only let Forrest know I found the final location in July 2019. Liaison stole it and was gone in October 2019. Forrest believed it was retrieved already, but couldn't tell Dale directly. We get to the timeline in December 2019. Forrest spent still doesn't know if the treasure chest has been retrieved by the solver. The Honorable Force Fenn tells Dale and his trusted liaison that he wants to end the treasure hunt so nobody else gets hurt. Forrest's family begged Forrest to do this for 10 years. Or was it Shiloh sending this and it accidentally went to Pam Chatron? December, Forrest tried to do the right thing. But Forrest's liaison talks Forrest out of shutting down the treasure hunt 
because he knows the solver doesn't have the actual treasure chest. The liaison has already taken many things from out of the treasure chest. Also giving Mommy the famous emerald ring. So Forrest Fenn reluctantly agreed not to shut down the treasure hunt just yet. A couple of months passed by and a tragedy occurred in March 2020. Michael Wayne Sexton dies in the Rocky Mountains looking for Forrest Fenn's treasure. Forrest Fenn is devastated. He tried to prevent this from happening, but his liaison talked him out of it. Forrest's heart is broken for the loss of another searcher when it was preventable. The liaison who's responsible for Michael Sexton's death has to come up with a brilliant idea to end this. So, during April and May 2020, this brilliant, okay, let's just call him out now. Shiloh comes up with a brilliant idea that will put Forrest at ease and also let all the searchers know that the treasure chest has been found. So Shiloh's not responsible for another searcher's death. He uses that pea brain of his to send Forrest an anonymous picture of the treasure chest and Forrest received it on June 6, 2020. The funny part is, the freaking dummy used the picture he took in October 2019 at Palisade Sill, Cimarron Canyon, New Mexico. This is why the new date was changed to October. I got him now. Shiloh sent this picture to Forrest anonymously. There was no Jack Stoof involved at this point. The treasure is announced proudly by Forrest Burke Fenn, found June 5th, 2020, announced on June 6th. There were no emails to Jack. Those are all fraudulent activity. Forrest sends an email to Dow. Shiloh thinks it's great, just like I thought too. Forrest is happy again, Solver's anonymous, the searchers are at ease because there's a Solver now. Awesome, I win. You big dummy. You big, big dummy there. Forrest, being the brilliant man he is, wants to give the Solver a good old tip of the hat. Great job, Dave, because Forrest did honor me at the end. And this is how. Honest Forrest's dedication to me, knowing I'd know what it meant. From Forrest Fenn on June 6th, 2020 at 8 p.m. The treasure has been found. It was under a canopy of stars in the lush forested vegetation of the Rocky Mountains and had not moved from the spot where I hid it more than 10 years ago. I do not know the person who found it, but the poem in my book led him to the precise spot. Shiloh shooting a brick says, Grampy, a guy from back east? Really? Fuck. Shit, I need the stupidest person I know that will say, I found it, and cover my shit stain. Jack freaking Stoof. So what is the real date Jack found the actual treasure chest in Wyoming? Supposedly, June 5th, Jack Stoof found the treasure chest, yet Forrest received a picture June 5th and I quote, I did not know the man who solved it, but he wants to remain anonymous. Forrest emailed Dale the correct information on that same date. Forrest didn't have any interaction with Jack during this time period. All fraud. Forrest received a picture and the I want to remain anonymous note. That's it. And that was from Shiloh trying to cover his dumb ass. None of this makes any sense about Jack's story and Forrest's story together. Who do you believe? Believe everything that came out of Forrest's mouth because that was the truth. The rest is a tragedy. Forrest never lied right up until his Rapunzel ending of his life. Forrest was forced into everything else that happened with the fraud, but never broke his honor for the chase and tried to reconnect with the true solver. I'll show you why. Shiloh pulls Jack in now and Forrest knows right away something is wrong. This isn't the, that guy from back east that found Kent and Esther. Jack's from the Midwest besides. 
Forrest flips out on Jack and Shiloh. Forrest is so upset he tells Shiloh, I will never acknowledge Jack. Forrest Fenn died at the age of 90 without ever identifying the finder. Shiloh finally asks Mommy for help because it's getting out of control for Shiloh. Zoe plays the Don't Expose Shiloh card to her daddy Forrest, who just realized he got screwed by his own flesh and blood. Fenn reluctantly plays along to a private picture session without any media attention. Forrest is heartbroken again because his 15 years of dedications, creativity, with over a thousand superheroes hidden in his books, has been flushed down the toilet. Forrest doesn't trust anyone now, yet he receives an email from the guy he was waiting for for months. Still gun shy, Forrest asked me a question to test my validity of being the solver. Who sat and talked with us? Kent and Esther. I passed the test on June 14th. Kent and Esther went to your house. They caught Forrest communicating with me and they shut him down. Alas, the solver tries to come forward. Zoe takes over Forrest Fenn's email account, which was admitted in court, and supposedly wipes it all just to protect Shiloh. She sends me an email to try and shut me up. Now, pay attention to the date of this email. Basically a month before Force Fenn died. If you believe Force Fenn on his deathbed wanted to ease the mind of just one of 500,000 searchers, a guy that didn't solve it, you have a screw loose. This is factual evidence of fraud. Someone know when it was submitted into court that Zoe took email control? I finally received this response from Forrest's email account that was already taken away from Forrest's access. So he didn't screw anything else up that could expose Shiloh. After that email, I dove into Forrest's books to figure out the complete solve and prove fraud from the family having full intentions of destroying Forrest's amazing hidden comic book treasure hunt solution with hundreds of dedications to superheroes and every other hero throughout his life. No reputable news agencies, little coverage is humanly possible, Photoshop smile with Forrest and Jack because Forrest wanted to tear Jack's head right off his shoulders, the piece of shit. Shiloh and Zoe use Carl Summer to cover up everything evil Shiloh created. Fake finder, fake emails, fake location, new staged pictures in Wyoming, somewhere other than New Mexico, uh, as far away as possible from New Mexico. The problem now is it's not physically possible for the retrieval in Wyoming and their dates they've already submitted into court as factual evidence. Forrest Fenn said he left and came back in the same afternoon to hide the treasure chest and Peggy didn't even know he was gone. There's no feasible way to do that in Wyoming at Yellowstone. Yellowstone is over 14 hours one way by car. Palisades Hill is just over two hours. This is what you're seeing. The solve, the truth, the deception, the answers why, the results, Forrest was innocent and didn't sign that Wyoming document. This brilliant fraudulent team's bright idea was, if we move the date of the fake find on June 5th back to October 2019, the real date it was retrieved, then we've made it past the three year statute of limitations. If the Wyoming retrieval date changes from June 5th, 2020 to October 2019, then everything they've submitted into court as fact about June 5th will show evidence of fraudulent activity. Oh no, you big dummy! You dummy! They are so screwed, and it's all going to depend on me filing court papers before the three year statute of limitations on June 5th. 2023. That's why they tried to change the date to October 2019 to be beyond the three-year statute of getting caught for fraud. Ain't gonna happen because the real solver has come to take possession of Forrest's promise to title to the gold for solving his brilliant comic book dedications. And I can call out any one of the fraudulent accomplices I want along with these douchebags. I am the man from back east, Forrest Fenn, said solved his poem precisely. Cynthia steps in also.
to try to help cover up Shiloh's heinous act with promise of her favorite item, the bracelet. And it's finally happened. Hi folks, Dave Woodard here. I had to break in. I really did. I haven't been on here for a while. I've been dealing with my prostate cancer. I had my surgery. I'm doing very well. I'm coming back and I'm coming back with a vengeance. I'm letting everyone know here of what really happened in the story to lead up to the fraud from Shiloh Old and Cynthia Meacham. And that, if that hasn't convinced you just yet, I want to tell you a little bit about Forrest Fenn. He was a, he was a war hero. And that man right there, you know, because I didn't grab the treasure chest and Shiloh stole it, screw me, right? I'm just another searcher that got fucked over. And this isn't going to be PG-13 anymore. Um, just so you know, I, hey, I got what I got, right? But Forrest Fenn didn't deserve what he got. And this is what he got. He got the biggest backstabbing from the, the family that he raised and supported. And to see Cynthia Meacham jump in with them, jump right into bed with the fraud. And all of these channels that are admitting they're getting paid by Chase Inc., which is what Forrest Fenn, which is what Shiloh created to throw disorder into the Fenn community. Those vloggers that are getting paid by Chase Inc., you are absolutely pieces of shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. You are pieces of shit. Force Fenn doesn't deserve what he's getting right now. Now, I believe that there's a statute of limitations of three years on, on collecting that the uh, or taking them to court for the treasure chest itself, for the actual title, to who owns the title, to the gold. The th thrill of the chase is the thrill, thrill of the chase. Superman. Anyways, Forrest Fenn was a it was a war hero, and and five hundred thousand searchers got screwed over by Shiloh Old. Not just me, folks. I'm ta I took the beating for the past two and a half years of the bullshit that they've given me. I solved it just knowing who Kent and Esther were. Not positive, but knowing that it goes into Ken Esther, Ken Esther, which is a joke that Forrest Fenn created up on his airplane in my war for me. If you haven't seen that in my videos, that's absolute fact. That's a brilliant way to come up with a joke that people people can figure out. And that's how I figured out the treasure hunt. I didn't figure out every other thing until after I knew I got screwed over. And I got fucked over by Shiloh Old. And the story I'm telling you is him bringing in, is him bringing in uh, Jack Stoop to cover everything. Jack Stoop is a fucking moron. That took the, is gonna take the brunt. I've asked him, I've asked Shiloh nicely for two and a half years, many times through my video. I asked for peace and truce and let's just square this away so you don't get caught, you don't get in trouble. Well, whether or not my time has gone through and I can't get the treasure chest for a title, um, so be it. But I'm gonna let you know, Force Fen's creation about superheroes. Force Fen was a war hero that didn't get the recognition in the books that he deserved. Force Fenn had 328 combat missions, and he got shot down twice. He got shot down twice, folks. Can you imagine? You've seen the movie Top Gun, right? That's why he put Maverick in his books. Besides Maverick's wife in the old show was Lois Clark to bring you to Superman. This fucking creation by Force Fenn was amazing. And it got shit on and flushed down the toilet by his own family. Now, it's not fair to Forrest Fenn, who's a war hero. 328, 328 missions, combat missions, and two of them getting shot down, and he survived. That man is a fucking hero, and you know what? This is what he got. My reward for all of that was about $1,000 a month in pay. A silver star, three distinguished flying crosses, a bronze star, 16 air medals, and a purple heart. That man... That man was, um, if you've seen Maverick, that gives you an idea of what Forrest Fenn was as a, as a fighter pilot up in those planes. 
and it's all getting flushed down the toilet what he built. His dedication to that, that French soldier with the, the homely girl on the cross. Force Fen built this gigantic 15 year inclusion, like to a, to a, to a war hero, like Force Fen. Who are, who are his heroes? His heroes are superheroes. His heroes are the doctor that saved his life. The everyday people that he brought in through Superman 1.61. Everyday superheroes. There's so many people that don't get recognition. Your hairstylist is a superhero at some point. Oh my God, you saved me. I went to the dance. If you look at what Forrest Fenn created, he has so many superheroes throughout his books that are hidden, that I've found. And so many regular, everyday superheroes that he's acknowledging. And you, the Force Fen vlogging community shits on it. They, and you know what? A month ago, before I put my other Nook video out that you see that, that's not getting a lot of attention, they know they, Shiloh's Chase Inc. Sorry. There were probably 15 videos put up in a week that when you do a search for a week on Force Fen, 15 videos for the, for that week. I just looked right now after my Nook video for the week. There's 72 videos from you fucking scabs that are trying to take the, the information that I'm giving out about the actual real solve that Force Fen created, which is fucking amazing. And when somebody finally looks into the whole thing, I need Marvel. I just finally watched, um, Doctor Strange, the multiverse of, um, madness. That was fucking incredible. It was incredible, folks. And the things... I wish Forrest Fenn could see that right now. Because the, the superheroes that he has in his book to associate with Superman, the number one superhero, experiences with Joe, mentioning about the comic books, how important they were. Forrest Fenn's mind, as a kid, all he had was the comic books for his imagination. He didn't have Marvel Universe movies and the DC movies that we have right now. And growing up as a kid, it was all of his imagination in those comic books. And that's what he had. His imagination that created all of these feelings and, and how he became the person that he is. The amazing man that gave back in the end and got fucking stabbed in the back by his own family. And I say that with 100% fucking confidence. And I'm, I know they don't take me to court because they know they're going to lose. And I've asked multiple lawyers to back me up, but nobody wants to back me up. Everybody backs Shiloh up. Shiloh's a nice guy. Just ask any of the Fen vlogging community. Shiloh's the fucking perfect little grandson who took care of his, his, fa his grandfather. No, folks, you've got the whole story wrong. I just showed you how the actual solve worked. The actual solve. Thrill of the chase is thrill of the chase. The thrill of the chase is thrill of the chase. Superman 1.61 Everyday Superheroes. People say that came out in 2020. No, Superman movie came out way back. And that theory of that scene, Superman wasn't in it. But it was called Thrill of the Chase. It was it was police. And whatever it was in that movie, I, I remember the movie. I'm not going back to look at it. I know with a theory of it. And they gave you the theory in that picture that I showed you. That's what Forrest Fenn created this whole treasure hunt around. Superheroes every day. Ben Underwood that I showed you. The, the actual savant. And you know, because of my traumatic brain injury, I know that I have, that I'm fucked up in certain ways. But I can tell you right now, only knowing who Kent and Esther were that make Canasta, I wasn't 100% positive. And people didn't believe me anyways. They didn't see it way back or Shiloh was already shutting me down. I know there's creative of people that out there that can see this. They can see what Forrest Fenn created. And like I said, when the Marvel, the Marvel team that created Multiverse of Madness, to be able to put it into a movie and people understand it, you did an awesome fucking job. And Tom Cruise with Maverick, awesome fucking job. I wish Forrest Fenn was alive to see Maverick because Top Gun was, was awesome. But to bring you more into what Force Fen was in those combat missions. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you, Tom Cruise and the makers of Top Gun and Maverick. And thank you, Marvel Universe. 
and DC Universe for what you do for people now. You give people something to strive for as a as heroic that they look up to and they wanna they wanna be, and that's what Force Fan was. So I'm asking the real people out there now. I've been shut down and shit on for two and a half years trying to put Force Fan's information out. And I didn't I didn't I didn't even want to sue them at first. But I'm tired of this shit. And I'm tired of them rubbing it in our faces. Every single one of you searchers. Josh Gates, I can understand that you don't come forward because there's no validation that there was a, a solver out there. Everybody's been told by Shiloh. And I can guarantee you right now, Forrest Fenn didn't go to that courtroom to put that Wyoming document in because he didn't want to do it. He was not, he, would, he was absolutely 100% chase honesty. And he didn't sign that fucking document. And I can't wait to find out if Carl Summer had something to do with the fraud. And you know, I usually I cut the shit out of here that I that I stutter because I've got so many things going on in this warped little TBI mind with, from a 10 millimeter shift. I know. I, I'll get my balls busted. I don't care. I'm a fucking regular searcher, a regular guy that went out looking for Force Fence Treasure Hunt. I found the spot, let the guy know, and then his family stabbed him in the back and stole it from the guy who really fucking solved it. And people that can't see that, I, I'm sorry, but Force Fenn had a creation here that goes way above nine clues that lead to the end of the poem. That's what these, these, and I get, I give my kudos to the regular people who had nine clues for a solve and, and didn't get involved with a fraud covering. But why must I go, Troy Barlow, and the rest of those fucking scabs that want to protect what Shiloh did to Force Fenn? You're a piece of fucking shit. And I'll tell you that straight out. I know I'm angry because of what happened to me, because of what happened to Force Fenn. And he doesn't deserve it. Okay, I may deserve it because I didn't dig up the treasure chest all the way. But finding the bottle that Force Fenn called, this is one of my treasures, by the time I realized, hey, this is another one of Forrest Fenn's treasures that he went into into Palisade Sill. All those answers are in my videos, folks. And if you watch the Forrest End miniseries, that defines everything right there on Forrest Fenn speak and how he created everything and give the poem to a child. There was so much. I have every single quote answered. And I still have the people that want to shit on it. I've moved over to Facebook because there's more real honest people in Facebook that will give me their opinions. And I've moved on to um, Expedition Truth. And they keep my videos up. But the getting the getting the message out there of what happened to Forrest Fenn before June 5th comes, the three year, if it's three years, I'm guessing. That's what I've seen other things. There's always a statute of limitations. And I believe it's three years for going after the fraud. Every single thing that they put into court is fucking fraudulent stuff that perjury they've lied jack stoof is hiding jack stoof force ben being the war hero that he was jack stoof never even went to his funeral come on folks when the fuck does it people wake up and go you know what there is something wrong with this and maybe we do have answers because none of the fucking shitbag vloggers will bring up my name about what happened to force ben so if i'm the only one fighting for force ben i'm gonna get fucking louder because he didn't deserve what he got at the end, which is a stabbing in the back, and now they're laughing in your fucking face and spitting on me and Force Fenn. And it's bullshit. So do what you must. Follow me. Send this out. I apologize for, for raising my voice to, to be enthusiastic so people start listening because I'm running out of time. I've, I've asked lawyers. I already put in to go to court. And I got bumped out because I didn't have the right fucking stuff filled out. I'm not a lawyer. I've asked for fucking help because of my brain damage. People won't help me. My family's asked me to drop it. But they don't know what what I know about Forrest Fenn. They're just, they're my family that don't want to see me going through this. But I go through it alone because of that. And it's it's hard to do. But I'm doing better on my cancer. And I'm coming back with a fucking vengeance, Shiloh. And these people that start fucking following me, we're coming after you for what you did to your own fucking grandfather. Whether they believe it or not, I put out the, I put out evidence. I put out factual evidence of dates 
they don't have an actual date that the treasure chest was found. Fucking guaranteed 100%. That it's all made up. And they don't have the pictures to prove it. The, the, that's the beauty of it. The, the actual proof of the fraud is in their pictures with the metadata. And that's why I need to get into court to take them. Because these other Erskine, Barbara Anderson, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You have no fucking clue. You're, you're making it into court. Kudos. I've tried. I went in on the Erskine on a motion to intervene. I got bumped out. The next fucking day, I receive a, a 24-hour, you're, you're bumped out of court. Don't come down here. They didn't want me in there. They didn't give a shit about Erskine because he can't fucking get anywhere. He doesn't have the soul. He doesn't have the answers of who's, who screwed him over. It's all made up. And these other books that have been put out, by Dan Barbarisi, I hope I can find out you've been paid off. Dale, I expected you to fucking step up. You haven't. And there's so many others. Pam Chitrone received an email that, that went to her. She knows the fucking truth. She hasn't come forward. How many of you have gotten fucking paid off by Shiloh? It's a shame that nobody fucking steps forward for, for Force Fen. So all of you people that are involved with this, I hope the fuck you go down for uh, being a shitbag because you don't want to step up, step up for the guy who put this out there for every single fucking American and every single bit, every, everybody living around the world. People from Davy Davy B, you you shit on it. How many times you shit on myself? You're shitting on Forrest Fenn, and you. Dummy. You big dummy! You big dummy! You big dummy! You big cold blooded dummy! You big dummy! See what you did? Oh no! You big dummy! I and you still do, Bill Gorman, piece of shit. Putting out more videos now just to get paid by Chase Inc. Um, why must I go? You, all of you fucking people. Oh no, you big dummy. You dummy. You big dummy. You a big, big dummy there. I'm not kidding you. You a big dummy. Dummy. Listen to a dummy. You dummy. You, you bigger dummy than my dummy. <laughs> dummy. Dummy! Get lost, dummy. Look here, you big dummy. I got a dummy for a son. You asleep? No, dummy. Okay, dummy. Before this game, you was just a plain dummy. But after the night, you'd be a broke dummy. Sold to the dummy with the black mustache. But what kind of life is it being the wife of an old man? What kind of life do you think it is being the father of a young dummy? You suck. You really do. I've reached out to you. Look back at my videos because I've reached out to you for help. And you shit on me and you shit on Forrest Fenn. I'm done with it. I'm so fucking done with it. This is going to fly the way it is. And I'm going back into this, the nine clues. And folks, this is the fucking amazing point. The nine clues absolutely bring you to the precise cross at, at Palisade Cell with Kent and Esther on it. So it's a beautiful thing that's coming up right now. But I needed to get this off my chest. When I saw the new pictures of, of Cynthia Meacham, that fucking bitch, she, she's rubbing it in my face and she's rubbing it in every single searcher that has been out there watching all of this stuff come into place. How many people are confused on the ending about Jack? Everybody. Even Jack's confused about the ending. He doesn't even have a solve and admitted he doesn't have a solve. So where is the actual real solve, folks? Does Shiloh have it? He does not. He's not hiding somebody. He's trying to fucking... Well, he's not hiding an actual solver that he, he's protecting. He's hiding an actual solver so he doesn't get into the shit that he stole that treasure chest when, and when Force Fan trusted him. So I hope... I know they're going to block me on Facebook. I'm putting this on my... I mean, I know they're going to block me on, uh, on YouTube. See, I got so many things going on in this head. But Facebook, I have confidence in Facebook to leave this up and get the information out. But I'm, go I'm going to print out my my motion to go to court and I'm going up against the Fen estate and I'm calling in Cynthia Meacham and I'm calling in Mike Cowlazars and I'm calling in Capo, Kissy, Chrissy, whatever the fuck your name is. I don't even watch them. That's the thing. And, and Josh Jordan, I can't wait to shut your fucking mouth. Be on the, you harass so many people and you don't even know what you're talking about. You have no fucking clue, Josh. You have information that could help 
but you just fucking rattle on and, and you, it's sad. These, these crazies that are in, in the Facebook, uh, in the force fan vlogging community, they are crazies. They have, they just can't fathom that it wasn't them that found nine clues. It's not that simple. I'll break down the nine clues for you folks and it will be broken down perfectly. So again, I'm the nice guy. I really am, but I'm fucking fed up. I'm back. I feel good. I've been, it's been one week since my surgery. I've had some rough couple days, but I got through them fine. And I, I'm way ahead of schedule for feeling better. So my prostate, gone. I'm looking at, I, I'm probably going to reach, reach my goal weight now. So, folks, I have some amazing fucking things to sh still show you. So, get ready. I'm going to try to end it as soon as I can. But I, I will show you how Forrest Fenn's poem actually works. So, I think... The real people out there, I've seen people give me thumbs up for the, the other videos. But this one, this one explains the fraud. That's what I needed to do. Get in the solve, get in the fraud and how it occurred and the timeline and then the actual nine clues of how they work so that folks can understand, yeah, this is what really happened. So I'm stepping up for Forrest Fenn, folks, and I'm stepping up for myself because I didn't deserve the shit that I took and I'm done taking it. So I thank every single real person out there. I thank every every fighter pilot in the wars and in the in the army and in the air force and in the service and all of the service members. This is what Forrest Van did. He wanted to he wanted to make a dedication to everyday superheroes. So thank your hairdresser, thank your doctor, because that doctor, folks, quickly, that doctor saved my life because I asked for three doctors. To do a, a PET scan because I felt like the cancer had gone beyond my prostate. They said, no, your numbers don't show it. But you know what? The doctor I went to, Dana Faber, and they're gonna have a in they're gonna have some in with my, my salad dressing. Um Dana Faber, they did the PET scan. And the the just because the numbers didn't show it in my age and how everything progressed, the cancer had spread beyond my prostate into some lymph nodes. And that doctor took those lymph nodes out. So I had, a instead of a three and a half hour surgery, I had a five and a half hour surgery. Just like Forrest Fenn did back in 88 when he was 57 years old. I'm turning 59 this month. We're not that different. And I'm standing up for that, that fucking amazing man who created this. So I want to let you know, that doctor is my hero. And there's so many everyday superheroes that Forrest Fenn has in his books. Just look, reread the books, and you will see the superheroes. But if you watch my videos, you'll see the hidden superheroes that are inside. It took him 15 years, folks. 15 years. And as I said in my other video, my daughter said, Oh my God, Forrest Fenn was brilliant. Yes, he was. But so was I with my acquired savant. Only knowing Kent and Esther, I went into Forrest Fenn's head and found all of these superheroes that he hid to save his legacy that I'm reaching out for real people to associate with and, and go, yeah, let's fucking stand up for this guy. He deserves it. So thank you again to the real people out there. The four spend vlogging community that are getting paid. The, now take that, take that in the way it is. The four spend vlogging community that is getting paid to shut down me and four spends legacy. Go fuck yourself. The rest of them, there's some good vloggers out there, but they've just backed off 
And I know this. I know, I know the bad ones. I know them. And it's a shame that you didn't fucking step forward when I asked you to. Because you people, that's the little 300 that I have in my view, in my views. That force fan vlogging community watch my videos, but they shut their mouths. Shame on fucking you because force fan didn't deserve it. So again, thank you folks. I'm Dave Border, the man from back east that Forrest Fenn acknowledged when he announced that that the find of the treasure hunt ending. He didn't know he got fucked over until Shiloh brought in Jack. Folks, it's all there. Thank you. Enjoy this. Cynthia pushes Nine Mile Hole as the location. Christy and Mike are pushing all the bogus information down everyone's throats, willingly, or getting paid off with the coins and items from the treasure. Ding, ding. More big dummies you protecting big the fraud. Dummy. You big dummy. You big dummy. I could keep going so deep into the fraud and crime accomplices, but it's time to give out the nine clues precisely. So everyone understands what Forrest tried to protect during the last three months of his captive life. Forrest was innocent of it all. He was railroaded by Shiloh, Old, and Zoe to protect what Shiloh did. The next picture is the proof. Force Fenn never acknowledged Jack Stoof as anything and held true to the end. Fact, Shiloh validated Jack after Forrest's mysterious death in September 2020. It's all fraud behind Forrest back after June 6th announcement. She pushes Nine Mile Hole as a location. Christy and Mike are pushing all the bogus information down everyone's throats willingly. In Outside Magazine, he quoted Mr. Stoof as saying, I think I got a little embarrassed by how obsessed I was with it. If I didn't find it, I would look kind of like an idiot. And maybe I didn't want to admit it to myself. I have so much more evidence I'd love to show, but I'm going to give you the nine clues precisely. Then the nine clues explained briefly. Then... The nine clues answered to fit the geographical locations the exact way Force Fen intended. Please pause to read each clue so I can give a, more information out in a shorter time. The nine clues precisely using every word in the poem separated by eight periods and one semicolon.
Shiloh, you could have gotten away with stealing the treasure chest if you admitted the true location at Palisade Sill in the first place. Now, you could have easily said that Forrest decided to pull the treasure out from its original secret place. Then I wouldn't have title to the gold. Because now it would have seemed like Forrest's choice. But you didn't give Forrest a choice, and Forrest wouldn't comply with the fraud. By you personally accepting the fake Jack 100% and forcing falsified documents into court, you've committed illegal acts of treason against Forrest Fenn, his legacy, the integrity of the thrill of the chase, half a million searchers, and me, the true solver. Executed by Shiloh Old and his accomplices, fraudulently, 100%. Now, hopefully you paused on a lot of those slides to read everything that was in there. Because if you did, you understand what Forrest Fenn built here about superheroes and about comic books. Um, I have another video that I'm going to put out that has... Actually, every time I try to do something in depth in the first book, I never make it to my war for me because I find so much information just in the beginning of that area right there. Um, between who's who, between the mirror dimension and now Onslaught, I found in the other book. I knew that on Heroic Onslaught was in there, and then all of a sudden on my phone popped up because I look up comic book stuff, Onslaught. I'm like, this is, this is amazing. Um, but to go, there's so many more things that still need to be found, but I have found probably over a thousand things. And, uh, and the folks that want to look into your own books or the scrapbooks, I'm sure the scrapbooks have tons and tons of comic book connections. Oh, um, Captain Carter. I just found that the other day, too. Two days ago. Every time I look in, I find more and more and more. Uh, my comic book guys say that every, every single name has something to do with comics, comic books somehow, um, or Sanford and Son. And it's... This was 15 years, folks. 15 years Forrest Fenn took to create this. And I'm asking. I'm asking all my brothers and sisters in blue. I'm asking all the law enforcement. Everybody, if you, if you are somebody who is like a hero, every day, superheroes every day. That's what this whole thing was based on. The military, there's, there's so many people that should be saying... This was wrong, what was done to Forrest Fenn. Leave me out of it for now. But what was done to Forrest Fenn for what he actually created by his own family, I'm exposing it. And if you can't see that this is the actual true solve, you can say, you, the bloggers that have busted my balls for so long, oh, it doesn't make sense. You only have one or two things. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It makes sense when you see it all together, which is what I did in this video. So the actual true solve, all of the rest of it, you can say, is an imagination, is um, speculation, whatever. It's You can say that if you have no imagination. But if you have imagination, if you like the, the Marvel movies, the DC movies, all the DC universe, um, then you will see what Force Fenn created here. The lies that have come from Jack and Shiloh and Zoe and Cynthia and Capro and Cal Lazar's and Dan Barbarisi, and all of them, they're, they're all lies to cover up what Shiloh did here. And I proved it in my timeline. I've given you a basic understanding, but there's so much, there's so much more that I have to give. And you can see that Force Fenn actually gave a tip of the hat to the, to the true solver who solved it with that under a canopy of stars in the lush forested vegetation of the Rocky Mountains. He never did the Wyoming. They can tell you that he did, but it's fraudulent documents that were put into court. Because Forrest Fenn, if he wanted it known that bad, he would have went to court for the Wyoming document. That was done behind his back in, 
in it's all a hoax and you can tell that so what i need i mean i've asked lawyers they don't see it because a court document was this is what shiloh thinks all the court documents are going to protect him it's all fraudulent court documents so it's going to hang them you give somebody enough rope they hang themselves and that's what k pro and calazars have done Every time I put out a video, they try to contradict what I put out by putting something else out just for the public, the small public in the Fen community. And I feel bad for a lot of those people because they follow it and they believe the lies that have come out. But if you don't see the truth here, then it, then it's a sad day for Forrest Fen because this is the actual true solve. So if everything else is speculation, imagination, whatever, the factual thing is... The thrill of the chase is the title to the gold. It's the it's thrill of the chase, Superman 1.61. Clark Kent, Superman 1.61. Clark Kent on the cross that was hidden from the public. That's what you have to understand, folks. Shiloh never released that information because it would have screwed him right over right there. It would have, I would have stepped forward and said, hey, I got all the documentation showing this. So he had to hide it. And that's what he tried to do by pulling in Jack, saying he wants to remain anonymous. But Jack came out in the public. It's, it wasn't the court cases that brought Jack out into the public, folks. It was them trying to shut up that there was an actual solver so people would stop questioning the fraud that they committed. There's so much that they, they've done that can be easily, easily proven fraud and, and a hoax and a scandal and conspiratorial theory, as Shiloh would say, to dispel any conspiratorial theories. I'm the conspiratorial theory, folks. There's no other vlogger. And as far as the vloggers, I apologize. We're all friends here. This is the real Dave that's back again. I'm not the mad one that was mad at you earlier in this video. You've all played a part. Even though in your brains you can't understand you're the solver, you played a part in helping to draw out the exposure of the fraud. So thank you all vloggers. Even though I'm pissed at some of you, I still, we're, we should, we shouldn't be this way. We're fighting amongst each other and there's one person to fight and that's Shiloh Old and he's got Jack Stoof that he's placed in front of him to protect him. And if you believe Jack Stoof, a lot of you know that Jack Stoof is just a fraud. It's just a cover up. This is why you have seen the actual 100% proof the thrill of the chase is thrill of the chase Superman 1.61. Superheroes every day. All of the heroes that I brought into this, if you if that doesn't connect, then ask a child because somebody that deals with comic books, somebody at, uh, that I was their mind stays at 13. Forrest Fenn gave us all the hints to show us it was all about comic books. So if that slipped your mind throughout this whole thing, Please go back and watch in order and stop and read and pause and you will see what Force Fan created. The beautiful, the beautiful connections of everyday superheroes. And my other videos, the five second bonus round, I wanted to put it on this. I love that video. There's so many superheroes. And in that again, I didn't even I don't even think I reached well, actually I did. I had a lot of other superheroes, but I think that was concentrated on just the superheroes. In this short time, up until my war for me in the first book. There's so many at Black Widow that I didn't even bring in in this one. Um, so, 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 so many. Uh, and I have it all. I have it all as evidence. So what I need, I need a, a lawyer. I've asked many lawyers in New Mexico. And they say they don't deal with this kind of case. Because it's going to be high level. I'm not looking for the, the million dollars to cover the expenses of the treasure chest this was fraud at a different level and harassment towards me and every other searcher that questioned things that were going on you were harassed down so you just shut up it's like dumbing down the whole community so they, they don't question what's going on through k-pro and Kala's eyes those guys are the ones that feed the fraud and they are the ones that are involved you notice um k-pro now oh i I, uh, I'm the court li liaison for, for Shiloh. Yeah, this is, this is fraud at a different level. 
and you know the actual truth all now. You know how it all transpired, where I sent the picture to Forrest, but it should have stayed between us. So somehow it got out, Forrest Ben. That's all speculation, folks. So when I get into court and it starts being proven, they have false documents, that's when it's all going to, the shit's going to hit the fan. So they can take me to court for slander, but they can't take me to court for slander because it's all true shit that I've said on this, these videos. This is, this is Force Fen at a different level. My acquired savant let me go into his head and, and see all of these clues that he hid about superheroes, about superhero, the hidden superheroes. There's so many that still need to be found, folks. If you finally want to back the right solve, the right story of how this unfolded and the fraud on where it came from, you understand it in this video. That's what I needed. One video, one solid video that has all of the proof, all of the clues, all of the clues, uh, all of the clues broken down precisely. Then, and it's amazing what Force Fan did. So if you see it all, that's great. If you didn't, please go back and watch. But I need a lawyer that will stand up for the good guy. The guy that gets screwed over. The guy that has proof of fraud being exposed by Shiloh Old and Jack Stoof and Zoe Old in Wyoming. And all the court documents that they've submitted. All I need is a, a, a lawyer that's brave enough. And again, I... I would think uh, Barbara Anderson would jump, want to jump on that, but she doesn't. She's still pushing her thing. That's fine, Barbara. Thank you for your, thank you for your patronage and your help, um, and good luck. And all the other bloggers, again, I apologize. I get pissed off at you because you've been warned, you've been told, you've been showed, but you just don't want to, you just don't want to like accept the truth. I've given you the truth, and do what you will with it, but. I, my apologies, and if you notice earlier in this film, earlier in this uh, video, I did give you an, a, a brief, like, one second apology. If you stopped it and looked at it, great. If you didn't, look back for it. It's it's a pretty good apology way back then, but everyone else, back me, subscribe, share. This information needs to get out that the actual true solve is out there. That's something they don't have. And they've covered up everything else. You People know that. The people that have looked into the mystery of the ending of the treasure hunt, this is why. It's all fraud that stems from Shiloh Old pulling Jack Stu forward as a face of a finder that didn't even have a solve. There's no fucking way that you can solve this without a solve. So the people that think they have nine clues that lead somewhere, great. Keep pushing whatever you want to push. But you're in the wrong direction. You need to either shit or get off the pot. And I'm I'm at a point now where I'm done getting pushed around by the vloggers, getting harassed by Shiloh's assholes um, on his channel, on his Chase Inc. bullshit. So the shit's going to hit the fan, and I'll do it alone. I've already printed off all the papers. I'm looking for a brave, honest lawyer in New Mexico that wants to fight the big fight for the big money and get these guys right by the balls because I've already got the information to prove it. It's just somebody filling out the paperwork for me that I've tried. I'm not a lawyer and I don't have the time to go to the, um, do the bar to try to get my to get all the shit I need. I just need an honest lawyer. That will step forward with me. Fill out the paperwork. I'll do the rest. I don't care. Or jump in on the full thing. Because this, when this video starts going viral. Which it should. Because this is the actual. This is, this is changing history. The history books as you know it. Have just been changed. By this video. Because this is the actual true solve. And I've shown it. And you know the thing about my 200 and something videos I have. Every video I put out is because I've learned a new clue. So you can see the actual the actual learning of all of the clues in order if you wanted to look at the videos. But when this goes to a movie or or whatever, whether it's through Marvel, whether it's through DC, whether it's through Disney, Paramount, Universal Studios, I don't care. This 
the amount of comic book and superhero things that are in this this Saul are absolutely phenomenal. And it should be known. So there's going to be something. And whoever pisses me off enough is not going to be in the movie. Uh, but again, my apologies to all the vloggers. My apologies to the vlogging fan community for me being getting upset. That's not who I really am. But I get the frustration of seeing them spit in our face. All of us that have, that have worked so hard for answers. The real true vloggers that are looking for answers. You need to like finally accept. Okay, there's one guy that solved it. And he is he's had enough. And he's come forward. And you either believe me or you don't. But they don't comment. They commented on some of my commercial videos. Like the, uh, um, the indulgence, right? The reporter. Um, indulgence. It's all of my videos have clues in them. If you can bear the anger and frustration of me trying to get that information out and being blocked by Shiloh. That's what, that's why I feel like maybe people don't like me, whatever. I'm one of the fucking nicest guys that you want to know. I'll do anything for anybody and I will get this information out with the help of the fan community or without. Um, I have the people who already see what Forrest Fan built. And hopefully in this video, most everybody else has seen it. So, Gates Nation, all of those other channels, the conspiracy channels, you're going to be get, getting this video sent to you from me on my channel. And I hope you keep it up. I hope you post it. I hope you pass it around. I hope you comment because this, this is history changing shit right here that they have fraudulently come forward with a false location in Wyoming and I can prove it in court and I've proven it in this video by the actual true solve by the actual true title to the gold so folks thank you for watching have a great day take care of yourselves I will keep you posted on my health which is great right now and uh, everything else and as this progresses along and hopefully hopefully I hear from a lawyer soon because uh It'd be a shame to go in there and do it alone. I I'm the, I don't know the court stuff. I had to send it out to different people. Whatever. All that other shit. Um, I'll do what I have to do. But if I get my name into the news and people see this actual solve, you will actually know there was fraud that was committed in Wyoming with Shiloh Old and Jack Stoof and Zoe and all the rest of those shitbags. So, folks, thank you. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Dave Woodard, the man from back east. That Forrest Fenn said solved his treasure hunt. You have to listen to what Forrest Fenn said to understand the truth. If you listen to what they tell you and the, the bogus stuff that they put out on Forrest Fenn email after June um, 6th, after June 14th, uh, the other announcements, it's all bogus. They took over everything from Forrest Fenn. And it's a shame. Let's get the information out. Take care, folks. Thanks.